Shifting gears, again, I think we're downshifting. Uh, in an era when staffing is such a challenge, why is it, why the reluctance to outsource preventive maintenance? Tanya, you do it in-house. Bob, you're doing it in-house. Scott, you're doing it in-house. And I'm assuming you're doing it in-house. Quite a bit. Maybe it isn't a challenge in terms of tech sourcing for PM type work. Just I, the audience is curious. You're keeping it all inside, but techs are tough to find. Is there some reluctance to outsource something like that? Well, I'll take this. So there's really not a reluctance. It's just what type of operation do you have going on? And like from our side, with being 60 plus percent dedicated, we we have to outsource. We have no choice. Those trucks don't come back to our terminals. But here's a bit of what's happened with our fleet from four and a half, five years ago. We averaged 10 trucks per tech. Today we're running 13.5 trucks per tech. That was taking the average age of our truck from 2.8 average age to 1.8. So it's reduced the need for technicians, plus the equipment's much newer, so the demand for the heavy work, like on Bob's side, and even some of Tanya's, and from your side, uh, it's, we don't have that pressure like we used to. We still have failures, but they're typically under warranty. So it has, but as far as not wanting to outsource, yes, you try to stay away from it as much as you can, but you build those relationships, get those negotiated labor rates and parts, national parts pricing, and it, it uh, makes it much easier. Tony, your perspective on that? From our standpoint, we, we try to do as much in-house as possible. Um, from a customer service standpoint, we, we uh, have on-time delivery statuses that we have to meet, uh, driver retention, and uh, our techs, we invest a lot in their education and continuing their growth on the new technologies, on the equipment that we have. We feel we have the best in the business, um, and as far as a, a shortage of techs in our shop, we do not have that. We're, we're very fortunate in that manner. So we um, we feel that you know keeping everything in house is is better for us. Are there those situations where we get out and and of course something happens? Uh, it, it does. Um, but we also now we're you know, you're up against the wall with the ELDs. The driver's clock is ticking and. They, they need to go, so we do things in-house. Bob, your perspective any different else? Yeah, we do everything in-house, uh, and I, I have uh, all of our shops are fully staffed, usually are. Um, our trucks are on a real specific, strict maintenance schedule, and basically we have to work around the short time of the day that they are not out on the road. Um, like Tanya says, uh, driver time is incredibly valuable, and it's valuable not just to the driver, but to ourselves and the customer. And basically, it is most efficient for us. And there's also certain things that there. Our trucks are spec'd in a way that we know where the strong points are. We know where the points are that have to be carefully watched. Uh, in a lot of cases, in most cases, we can do it better, faster, cheaper. So it's a bottom line thing for us also. Question that just arrived.